Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly psychic tarot reading. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are always welcome. Anybody is welcome who perceives that this reading will bring them value. All right. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. All right, Sagittarius. In the past, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. Feels like you were in indecision for a long time in the past. Couldn't make up your mind. What was it? You couldn't make your mind. Ooh. Oh, okay. So it looks like you couldn't make up your mind in the past because there was all this pain and lies, betrayal and lies. Feels like you believe you know, you were doing everything. You were sacrificing. It feels like I, I'm sacrificing what I really want to be in this connection. And this connection is very painful, wounding, and it feels like it's lying. It feels like it feels like you have to lie to yourself to stay in this connection. feels like someone's lying about how they really feel about this connection about their wants yeah there's all of this communication is either painful or deceptive and it looks like someone in this connection is feeling insecure about finances, insecure about being on their own. Maybe that's what's keeping this together. Like I'm afraid, I'm not happy. There's not a great communication here. It feels like everyone's lying and deceiving, maybe even themselves. But there's this energy of someone who's not nurturing they're more worried about the appearances of things and there's a lack of care care and nurturing yeah all right so moving on to present energy we have the king of cups in reverse i got a new tarot deck the cards are all slickery and slippery but the imagery is just beautiful so, and with this deck, there are two king cards, a feminine king card and a masculine king card, huh? Pretty cool, huh? So, king of cups in reverse, but it's that feminine energy. It feels like someone's overwhelmed with their emotions. Someone doesn't know how to work with their emotions. Someone... This person feels like when they're overwhelmed with their emotions, they they they, they look for who's around to blame. <laughs> you made me feel this way, and so I'm gonna punish you and blame you. Um, yeah, this person hasn't really learned. Um, a mature way to deal with their emotions they're being very deceptive and sneaky reckless and very codependent clingy this feels like that same energy in the past whoever i'm i'm tuning into that's like afraid to be on their own or they don't feel like they can survive without this couplehood. They feel very codependent or dependent. 
especially around finances is what I'm getting, around stability and security. So it looks like someone's getting some inner strength either because they're going through these difficulties. What is this? Let me get some clarification. There's two, whoever this is, your energies are very similar. Either you mirror or match each other's energy or are kind of enmeshed. So it's really hard and as a reader to decipher what's your energy and what's their energy. And you might have difficulty and they might have difficulty with this as well. Like what is, I am so enmeshed that I'm not sure what's mine and what's yours to work with. All right, what do we need to know? What are the most important messages for Sagittarius this week? Yeah, it looks like someone's letting go of that insecurity. That's And so they're gaining strength. It feels like someone is willing to move towards their fears and, and let go of something that doesn't work, even though that's what it is. I'm familiar, I'm used to and familiar with being around people who betray, who are not friendly, who are not my friends. And I've lied to myself that this is what family is, this is what friendship is so I could stay in these very uncomfortable situations. I don't value myself. This is back in the past. I don't value who I am. So I feel like I have to do everything to um, be worthy of being in a connection because I've never been, even growing up, I was not liked might be a real hard pill to swallow but why I was treated so cruelly was at the root of it I wasn't liked unless I completely changed and shifted who I was I still wasn't liked but at least I became tolerable and that's what these connection what relationship to me has meant tolerating tolerating others that you don't really like either but there's just this insecurity that, well, this is what being in relationship is. And so I feel like I've got to stay with this. Whew. So in present time, someone's in their emotions. They're overwhelmed. But there's this sneakiness, this reckless energy around being very insecure and clinging and clinging but someone something is shifting and someone's gathering some strength to let go even though they don't know it feels like i'm tired of waiting i'm tired of waiting i'm tired of allowing my fears to keep me stuck Someone, someone's just getting some chutzpah, getting some courage. The, the lion in Wizard of Oz, it's, it's like I'm learning how to get courage and, and let go of, let go of this, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. It's not that you haven't tried to make it work. It's not that you haven't appreciated what you got. It's just this is realizing that I don't want to be in connections that are hurtful, that I have to lie to myself and I feel um, that everyone is masked around me. I'm constantly then masked. 
And it feels like an existential crisis. Like, who am I without these masks? So what's hidden is the chariot. I love that this is one of the fastest moving cards in the deck, but it instead were the imagery is the snail overcoming obstacles. Ooh, overcoming addictions, devil, the devil card, overcoming codependency, overcoming toxicity. So that, that drives with what I've been tuning in here. Someone is um, braving up in a big way. Someone is overcoming. This is hidden. Someone's overcoming that devil energy. Tell me more. What does Sagittarius need to know about what's hidden? Okay. It looks like you're overcoming not just addictions, but maybe even being addicted to your sadness. Addicted to victim mentality. I've always been the victim. Addicted to pain. Because this is what I've been used to. Disappointment, pain. I'm letting go of those stories. I'm letting go of those cycles, of those ways of being. Death and rebirth. You're transforming that. What's interesting is it feels very internal, like you're doing this internally, and you're not yet moving out. This feels like you are doing all this internally right now. You're letting go of toxic ways of thinking, of toxic connections, letting go of your pain, letting go of those stories of a lot of uh, betrayal and lies and hurt and pain. Wow. It, this feels very transformative, this whole reading this week. It feels like you're, you're in it, really. All right. Ooh, interesting. Sagittarius, your possible outcome this week is the Four of Pentacles. This is someone clinging to, worried about finances, clinging to a foundation, It looks like you're, again, it feels like you're isolating or separating yourself and you're figuring out, like, without this toxicity, but yes, okay, here we go, card fell on the ground, two of swords in reverse, uh, and that's where we started this reading, two of swords in reverse, coming out of a period of indecision, it feels like you're deciding like where to move next. I mean, with the chariot as well, and this very much about foundation, and it's like, where do I physically go next? What would be, it feels like you're attracting, it feels like you're attracting that answer, like really figuring out who you are without these energies in your space, without the lies and deception, without having to mask who you really are, then it, it looks like you come to a decision because you want to let go of whatever is keeping you dependent and what it, where are you... Interesting. Justice. Oh. Oh. The, 
I think why you're kind of detoxing and going within is there's something going on um, behind the scenes energetically for you. It looks like you're getting ready for harvest. Some money is coming in. There's justice. There's justice coming in from someone, not from this person, but because someone was mentally manipulative, it, you're receiving some type of justice. And then like a windfall, feels like unexpected money. So you can heal from those who hurt you and were very unapologetic about it. I, I, this is a group reading, so it's harder. I can't get any more, any closer to the details because then it fragments out to the individuals. But it looks like figuring out feels like the more you figure out who you are, then you realize what you really are interested in. With If you are no longer sacrificing yourself and overgiving to try to show your value, you're facing your fears and moving away from toxic connections and toxic ways of being, then it feels like you're on a like a scavenger hunt and as you clear away then you're going to start receiving more information about uh what comes next but i'm not perceiving that you have the answer by the end of the week but it does look like some money is coming in that makes you feel more secure that you've got this. So, all right, Sagittarius, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. Uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Any way you interact with this video so I can uh, grow this video. So, all right, thank you, take care.